a living redeemer. You set me free. There ought to be some kind of hand clap, or some praise, some shouting, something if you know Jesus this morning. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but shall have everlasting life. How long is that? Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. I'm grateful. This morning we are privileged to have Brother Jim Arnold and one of the missionaries from the Ivory Coast is going to come and speak for us today. And Jim, you're going to in interpret this, I'm sure. All right. Uh, would you welcome Jim Arnold and his friend? He's going to tell you who this guy is. And we appreciate them being here today with us. Uh, well, it is a delight to be here this morning, and it's, I, I'm always excited when I get to, uh, to have one of my uh, African pastors here visiting with us in the States. Uh, I have with me Pastor Jano from Ivory Coast. He's one of our pastors that uh, is working with our team in uh, Ivory Coast. And uh, this has been his uh, first experience here in the States, and so it, it, it's always interesting to to observe through them what uh, strikes them, what things, uh, you know, they, they uh, kind of, that kind of stick out. We, we become uh, immune to it all, uh, having grown up here. But when, you're, when you've grown up in a, a third world country that doesn't have the, uh, the benefits and the blessings that we have, it, it's interesting to see it through their eyes. But Pastor Jano is a, uh, truly a man of the Lord. He loves the Lord, and uh, he is a church planter. He started uh, 10 churches, and uh, the one that he's currently working in right now has just started a, a, a new sister church, and um, they're running uh, the new church that they just planted. They're running about 60, and uh, we've been able to purchase land for that church, and what we're working on while he's home this time, while he's here in the States, is we're working on uh, raising funds to build a, a building. We're looking at $20,000 to put up a building there, which, you know, I, that, to us, that's not, a, not a, a, a great thing when you, I mean, it doesn't seem like that much when you, you realize what it costs to put up a, a church building in this country. But uh, it, is a, it is a leap for them. He's been here since uh, he came in right at the beginning of October. He'll be flying back uh, November 12th. During this time, we're, we're visiting churches. Up to this point right now, we have about $6,000 towards that building. And so just encourage you, uh, there is a display out there. Uh, there's a jar. If you can give towards that and help us uh, try to uh, uh, get further along the road towards that goal, there's also uh, trifolds there. I encourage you to pick them up, uh, be praying for him and his family. You'll get to hear a little bit more about his ministry. And uh, uh, he's, he's very animated. Yeah, you, I mean, you look at him right now, you say, nah, he's not animated. Well, I guess you'll find out. Uh, uh, he's a hard worker. While he's here uh, during the week, uh, you know, I, I try to plug him into different uh, things. So when people have needs, want something done, I try to plug him into that. And he always comes back and tells me, oh, that was easy. That's nothing. Uh, I, I said, well, you were there five hours. He says, yeah, but he says, that, that's nothing. And, and so uh, what a, what a go-getter. It's, it's exciting to be able to have him. You say, well, why do we uh, bring our, our pastors uh, to the States? Uh, a few different reasons. One is is to uh, encourage them in their ministries. It gives us an opportunity to help raise for some of the projects uh, in their countries. You're, you're dealing with, with people that make uh, less than $2 a day. And so uh, when, when you think about that, uh, it, it makes it difficult to, to be able to accomplish some of the things that need to be accomplished in these countries. But secondly, it gives, gives us an opportunity to 
to uh, share with our churches what, what God is doing in these countries. Some of these countries, you know, our, our people aren't familiar with. And this gives you an opportunity to hear what God is doing in their, God, in their country. God is at work. He's at work, and oftentimes we, we don't realize or see how he is working, and this is that opportunity. And then thirdly, to be an encouragement to you as a church and as a people to continue to hold the ropes uh, for your missionaries in, in prayer and financially and helping them in, in their ministries, but in, to encourage us to be more involved in ministry in, in, in our own area in our own country. And so I just trust that uh, this, will, this will be a blessing to you. He's going to uh, speak in French. He told me that if he ever uh, comes back to the States, he says, I'll study up on my English and I'll be able to speak in English. And I said, yeah, okay. And uh, anyway, so I will be his uh, interrupter this morning. So. Je vous... Je vous salue tous dans le nom précieux de notre Seigneur Jésus. I greet you on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Que le Seigneur vous bénisse. And may God bless you. Et tous ceux qui ont fait ce bâtiment, qui ont eu la main, l'argent dedans, ils soient tous bénis au nom de Jésus-Christ. And everybody that had a part in, in, in this building, in, in constructing this building, God has richly blessed you. Dieu aime ceux qui bâtissent des, des temples pour lui. And God, God loves those that are building his church. Je suis Jano Kwadjo Umbra. My name is uh, Jano Kwadjo Umbra. Je viens de la Côte d'Ivoire, précisément au centre. And I come from Ivory Coast. La Côte d'Ivoire est, est un pays qui est situé euh, euh, à, à, à l'Afrique occidentale. Uh, uh, Ivory Coast is located in the western part of Africa. Donc actuellement, nous sommes à, à 32 millions d'habitants. And we're a, a country of about 30 million uh, uh, population. Mais seulement 34% de chrétiens. But only about uh, 20, uh, 24% are, uh, percent is Christian. Et 42% de musulmans. And uh, over, over 50% Muslim. Et le reste, c'est les animistes et puis ceux qui sont dans les sectes. And the rest of the country is made up of animists, uh, idol worship, fetish worshippers. Je suis né dans une famille de féticheurs. I, I was born and raised in a, a family that uh, worshipped uh, idols and fetishes. Et à cinq ans, j'étais tombé malade. And uh, when I was five years old, I became very ill. Mon père m'a envoyé à l'hôpital. And my father in, uh, took me to the hospital. Et quand le docteur était dans, 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 son, dans la, la maison là-bas, les parents m'ont dit que celui qu'on envoie à l'hôpital, on est, ils sont nombreux, ils sont nombreux, mais il y a, lui, il y a un qui est mort. And so they took me along with uh, uh, a number of other kids that were all, all very sick. And, and they looked at me and they said, oh, this one's dead. C'était moi. And that was me. Et docteur, le docteur dit, bon, attendez, je vais venir le voir. And the doctor says, well, give me a minute. Let, let me check him out. Il est venu me voir. Je respirais à peine 10 minutes, à chaque 10 minutes que je respirais. And so he came in and, and, and uh, observed me and listened to my heart. And he says, no, he's still breathing. Il n'est pas encore mort. He's not dead. Si c'était au campement là-bas qu'on n'était pas venu à l'hôpital, on allait m'enterrer. If they had left me in the village and not brought me to the hospital, they would have buried me. Que le Seigneur nous bénisse. God is good. Et mon père ne m'a pas aimé. Je ne sais pas pourquoi. Mon père ne m'aimait pas. My, my, my father never really liked me. Il nous a mis à l'école et dit que moi je ne connais pas papier. Hey. He, he sent us to school, and I come back home. He says, you, you, you don't know anything about school. You don't know paperwork. Et là, y a un groupe de qui était allé chez nous. And so there was a group of Christians that came and started evangelizing our village. And they started talking about this Jesus, this Jesus who loved everybody. Et j'ai dit que bon, j'allais partir aussi à l'église pour aller voir ce qui se passe à l'église. And so I, I heard about this and I wanted to go to church and, and hear more about this Jesus. Et quand je suis arrivé, le monsieur a prêché sur l'amour véritable que Dieu aime tout le monde, il ne trie and, pas les gens. And when I got there, I, I, I heard a message from the pastor who says that, that God loves everybody. He loves the whole world. And he said this was, this was surprising to me. Et j'ai dit que bon, si mon papa ne m'a pas aimé, que Dieu m'a aimé, c'est que je vais partir à l'église. And he says, so, so since my, my father doesn't like me, but, but God lo loves me, I'm going to start going to church. 
Et là même là, il, 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 était, il est fâché, il est fâché parce que lui, il est, il est, il est fétiché, il est démarre. Il dit que bon, si comme ça, ta maman va à l'église, toi tu t'en vas à l'église. Donc toi tu es de côté des, des femmes maintenant, tu n'es pas mon, mon fils encore. And, it, and he said, my father didn't, didn't appreciate that too much because he was a fetish worshiper and, and an idol worshiper. And he says, if you're going to go to church with the women, then you, you go live with the women. Il n'a plus payé mon, ma, ma scolarité. Il n'a plus payé mon école. And he refused uh, to continue paying uh, my, my school. Et c'est mon oncle qui m'a pris un peu, mais lui n'a pas assez d'argent. And so my uncle took me in. Et, et c'est là que je fui pour aller à Boaké, pour aller chercher du travail. And so, uh, as a result, I stayed with him for a little while. He, he wasn't able to pay uh, my education as well. He didn't, wasn't wealthy enough. And so he said, I headed to the, the second largest city to look for work. Et Dieu aidé, eu travail. And God blessed me and, and gave me some work. Et content. And I was excited. I finally had some money. Et en 2021, Dieu m pour dire, Venez le and, en 2001. Uh, and in 2001, God called me to serve him. Je n'ai pas l'argent. Je viens, j'ai eu un peu d'argent. Et puis Dieu me dit de venir commencer à zéro. And he says, are, are, are you kidding me? He says, I, I, I've never had money. Now I have a little bit of money. And now you want me to leave my work to go serve you? On a fait pas là, mais je ne voulais pas. And so I argued with him because he said, I, I, I didn't want to leave my job. Et quand, comme je veux pas le servir, en 2003, il y a eu la guerre. Et puis le travail est gâté. And so in 2003, he took care of that because war came to our country, and so my job was gone. Dit, bon, donc je vais te servir maintenant. And so he said, uh, I will serve you from here on out. And so it was through that that I started serving the Lord, and, and through my serving, I, I, I met uh, my wife, and I'm married to the meanest woman in all of Ivory Coast. <laughs> Ça? Oui? Tu as dit bien. Hmm? <laughs> And then, that, okay. I mean, that's et, what he said. Et, no, he said the most beautiful woman in all of Ivory Coast. Glory et to God. Dieu nous, a, Dieu nous a donné quatre filles. And God has blessed us with four, four girls. La première s'appelle Priscilla, elle a 25 ans. The, the oldest is Priscilla, and she's 25 years old. La deuxième s'appelle Rebecca, elle a 23 ans. And the second uh, is Rebecca, and she's 23 years old. La troisième s'appelle Perside, elle a 20 ans. And uh, Percy, that's the third one, and she's 20 years old. Et la dernière a 18 ans, elle s'appelle Esther. And the last one is 18 years old, and her name is Esther. Et ça fait quelques jours, nous avons commencé le travail à Zopé, à Zopé, auprès d'un homme de Dieu. And so we started our ministry in, in, the, in the village of Zopé. Mais le monsieur, l'homme de Dieu dit, si tu dis que Dieu t'a appelé là, faut implanter l'église, je vais voir. And, and, and the, uh, the man was telling us, say, if God has, you're telling me that God has called you to the ministry, he says, I want to watch you plant a church and, then, and show me that you're really called. Et Dieu m'a aidé, j'ai implanté une église à Zopé. And so uh, we started working and, and God blessed us with a church there in Zopé. Il m'a envoyé à, à Yamoussoukro, j'ai ouvert une église. And then from there we went on to Yamoussoukro, started a second church. Il m'a envoyé à Dalawa, j'ai ouvert une église. And from there we went to Dalawa, started another church. Il m'a envoyé à Boaké, j'ai ouvert une église. And from there I went to Boaké and started a, another church. À Soubré, j'ai ouvert une église. And then went on to Soubré, started a church there. Et quand j'ai décidé de venir travailler avec Aguirre, il m'a dit, bon, si c'est comme ça, il faut partir. Et donc je suis parti. And so, as, as a result, when, when I partnered up with, uh, with Jim and uh, his team in uh, Ivory Coast, uh, then they told me to, to go on and start uh, other churches. Et c'est en 2019 que j'ai été à Guitry et j'ai ouvert une église le 22 septembre 2019. And so, in, in 2019, the 22nd of December, I started a, a, a ministry there in Guitry. J'ai commencé avec ma famille. And we started that ministry with just our family. Et on a, on a fait bambou, on a fait bambou et puis on a mis le papo. And what we did is we just put up a little bamboo structure and put some uh, thatch roofing on it. C'est là-bas que les gens vont aux au, au, au toilettes, au and, WC. And, and, and the area that we had was the garbage dump. That's where we, that's what they gave us to, to, to build our church on. Et ils enlèvent le bambou pour voler les chaises, pour voler ma Bible. Ils ont volé ma Bible. 
And, ils ont ramassé tout dans l'église. And anything we left in the church, uh, we, when we come back, it was stolen. They, they steal our chairs. He, they even st steal my Bible. Voyez? Donc, uh, Dieu a fait grâce. Aujourd'hui, nous sommes 100, 130 à 140. But God uh, gave us the grace and he has blessed us and today we run over 40 in that church. Et on a, 140, excuse on me. a ouvert une autre église à 10 km de, de Guitry, dans un village and, de Gokro. And then we started a, a second church in Ngokro, uh, about uh, 10 km from there. Nous sommes à 60 personnes. And we're running over 60 yes. there. Et donc Dieu a été avec moi parce que j'ai été déterminé à le servir. And you see, God has blessed us because we, we have been determined to serve him. Je n'ai pas abandonné. I never abandoned him. Et ce matin, ce matin, nous allons parler de d'un monsieur, de, nous allons prendre la Bible pour lire un passage. Et Luc chapitre 19 à partir du verset 1 à 10, mais nous allons lire seulement le verset 10. And this morning, uh, my uh, message is taken from uh, Luke chapter 19, and it's uh, verses 1 through 10, but we're just going to read verse 10 to save on a little bit of time. It says, For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Oui, le, l homme, l homme, le Fils de l'homme est venu chercher et sauver ce qui était perdu. You see, the Son of God had came, came to this world to save that which was lost. Le thème de ce, soir, de ce matin, c'est « J'ai un objectif à atteindre ». Et le sous-thème, c'est la détermination. Dieu lui-même qui a créé les cieux et la terre, il a, il a un, un objectif. You see, God who created the heavens and the earth, he, he had a goal, he had a plan. L'objectif de Dieu, c'est de créer les cieux et la terre, créer l'homme, le bénir et remplir toute la terre. And his plan was the, to, to, to create the heavens and the earth and every living thing on it. Mais quand l'homme est tombé, Dieu n'est pas découragé. Il a envoyé son fils Jésus dans Jean 3, 16 and, pour nous réconcilier avec lui. And you see, when, when man fell, in the, uh, fell uh, to sin in the garden, uh, his plan didn't stop there. He had a plan to continue, and that was to send his own son, Jesus Christ, in John 3, 16, for, the, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Jésus a un objectif. You, Jesus also had an objective and Jésus, a plan. L'objectif de Jésus, c'est de nous réconcilier avec son Père and, et de, 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 de mourir sur la croix pour nous sauver comme vous avez chanté tout à l'heure. And you see, Jesus' plan was to come here and to take our place on the cross so that we would have that everlasting life with our Father. Et il a atteint son objectif. And he obtained his plan and he obtained his goal. Et c'est quand il commençait, c'est quand il allait de village en village Autrefois, Jésus avait 12 ans. Il avait 12 ans. Il partait à, à, à Jérusalem pour aller fêter la Pâque. You see, when, uh, Jesus, he, he, he would travel from village to village to, to share the gospel. And, and you remember when he was 12 years old, he, 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 he was headed to Jerusalem. Quand ils ont fini la fête, ils sont retournés. Jésus est resté à, à Jérusalem. And you remember that uh, the, uh, Mary and Joseph, they, they, when it was finished there, they turned around to leave and they left. And, and, and Jesus was still left there in Jerusalem. Son père Joseph et Marie l'ont cherché pendant trois jours. Quand ils sont allés le voir, sa mère dit, « Mon fils, pourquoi tu nous as fait ainsi? Nous sommes dans l'angoisse pour te chercher. » And his father and mother went back looking for him, and, and, and three days, and they found him three days later, and they said, what, what, what are you doing here? Why, why, why aren't you with us? Jésus a répondu, pourquoi me cherchez-vous? And, and Jesus responded to them, why, why are you looking for me? Ne savez pas que vous, il faut que je m'occupe des affaires de mon père qui est aux cieux. Don't you realize that, that I am about the work of my father? Voici l'objectif de Jésus-Christ. C'est de s'occuper des affaires de son Père. There was the plan and the, and the goals of Jesus. That was to accomplish the work of his Father. Les chrétiens doivent s'occuper des choses de leur Père qui est aux cieux. And you see, our responsibility is to be busy about things here on earth for the kingdom of God. Mais aujourd'hui, qu'est-ce que, qu que les hommes font? But I ask you today, what are you doing? Que, le, le, en Afrique, qu'est-ce que les gens font? In Africa, what are they accomplishing? Quand le, son papa est décédé, il vend, le, il vend tout ce que son père possède. You see, in Africa, when, 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 the, when our fathers are, uh, uh, pass away, we sell everything that we have. 
Mais Jésus n'a pas vendu les œuvres de son père. But you see, Jesus, he, he didn't sell the work of his father. C'est de s'occuper des affaires de son père. But rather, he was busy about his father's business. C'est dans cette mission-là qu'il partait à Jérusalem. Quand il partait à Jérusalem, et il rentrait à Jéricho, il a vu un monsieur, il s'appelle Zachée. And you remember that uh, uh, as he was leaving uh, Jerusalem, that he came across this uh, little town, and he, and he ran across a man called Zacchaeus. Et Zaché dit, il va voir Jésus. Zaché, c'est un, un, un chef de républicain. Il est riche. Il est cool. And Zacchaeus says, I, I, I want to see this Jesus. You remember, he, he was the chief of the publicans, and, and, and he was a, a, a short little man, but he was very wealthy. Il ne pouvait pas voir Jésus. Il a décidé, il est déterminé à voir Jésus, mais il ne pouvait pas voir Jésus parce qu'il y avait la foule. Hey, you remember that uh, he was determined to see Jesus. He wanted to see Jesus, but he couldn't see him as a result of the crowd. He was too short. He couldn't look over the crowd. Zaché est court. Comme il est court, il ne voyait pas Jésus. Donc il faut filer. Il tournait. Il cherchait où il allait. Les gens ne parlent de passage. He couldn't see. He was short. He was short. He couldn't see around anybody. He couldn't see Jesus. Et qu'est-ce qu'il a fait? Il a couru en avant, il a couru pour aller grimper à un sycomore. And you remember what he did? He ran ahead and he climbed up a sycamore tree. Pour chercher Jésus, pour voir où il est. He wanted to see where Jesus was. He wanted to see him. Parce qu'il savait que c'est là que Jésus allait passer. <laughs> Because he realized that it was, Jesus was going to be passing by that way. Et quand Jésus venait, il, quand il est arrivé sous le sycomore, il s'est arrêté. And you remember when Jesus came, he, he, he stood under that tree and he stopped. Et il a levé les yeux. And he looked up his eyes up. Il dit Zaché, assis-toi de descendre. And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down. Qui a dit à Jésus Zaché était en haut? Who told Jesus that Zacchaeus was in that tree? Qui lui a dit qu'il y a quelqu'un en haut? Who told Jesus that there was somebody up in that tree? Je vais te dire ce matin que partout où tu sois, Dieu a un œil sur toi. You see, regardless of where you are, regardless of who you are, God, God has his eyes on you. Jésus t'a localisé ce matin, là où tu es. Il connaît tes problèmes, il connaît tes difficultés, il te voit. You see, God knows who you are. God knows where you are. He knows your problems. He knows your situations. He knows all about you. Il connaît ton nom. He knows your name. <coughs> Les gens ont commencé à se moquer de Zachée. And the, uh, the crowd began to, to mock uh, Zacchaeus. Il est cool. Because he was short. De And he says, you come on down. And you see, when Zacchaeus came down, he was excited. He was happy to meet Jesus. And, and, and uh, they started uh, questioning Jesus, says, w w w you say you're, uh, you're, you're the son of man, but look at you. You're going to, and, and, and spending time with the sinner. Je veux parler à quelqu'un. Dieu ne tient pas compte de notre taille. Dieu ne fait rien avec la taille. You see, God doesn't care about your height. Ils se sont moqués des âgés. Ils disent, il est court. <laughs> they made fun of Zacchaeus because he was short. Dieu ne regarde pas à notre taille. But you see, God doesn't care about our height. Dieu ne regarde pas à, 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 à ce que tu es grand ou tu es court. Dieu he, ne regarde he doesn't pas care cela. if you're tall or if you're short. 1 Samuel chapitre 16, à partir du verset 7, dit, Dieu ne, les hommes regardent à l'apparence, mais Dieu regarde au cœur. And 1 Samuel, talk, the Bible says that, that a man looks on the appearance, but God looks at the heart. He looks into the heart. Que ta, que ta taille ne soit pas une inquiétude pour toi. <coughs> Because your, your height has nothing to do with your relationship with him. Ne sois pas inquiet parce que tu es court. Dieu sait pourquoi il t'a créé comme ça. Don't be discouraged if you're short because God created you like that. Il t'aime, il t'aime avec ça. Il sait pourquoi il t'a créé comme ça. He knows why he created you the way you are. Et quand il partait loger ce, ce Zaché, ils ont dit, ils ont, ils ont, ils ont été critiqués. You see, as he, as he went to Zacchaeus' house, the crowd began to, to criticize him. Mais Jésus n'a pas répondu. Zacchaeus n'a pas répondu. But you see, Jesus never responded to the crowd. Parce qu'ils avaient un objectif à atteindre. Because he realized why he was there and he had a plan. Pour Jésus, c'est de gagner un, un, celui qui est perdu. And you see, for Jesus, his plan was To, to, uh, to, to receive the lost. Zaché, son, 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 son euh, objectif, c'est de, 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 de voir Jésus. 
And you see, Zacchaeus' objective was to see Jesus. Et quand Jésus est entré là-bas, je lui, il dit, Seigneur, je donne la moitié de mes biens aux pauvres. And when Jesus entered his home, he looked at Jesus and he says, Jesus, he says, I'm going to give half of everything I have to the poor. Et si j'ai pris quelque chose à quelqu'un, je lui donne les quatre fois. And if I've taken something from somebody wrongly, I will, I will uh, uh, pay them back fourfold. Jésus sait, Zaché sait que pour entrer dans le royaume de Dieu, il faut se dépouiller de ce qu'on a gagné eh, malhonnêtement. And Zacchaeus realized that, that he needed to confess his life before Christ and he confessed it all before him. Et quand Jésus a vu sa détermination, il a dit, le, la, le salut est entré dans cette maison. And when Jesus saw his determination, he said, salvation has come to your house today. Je donne la moitié de mes biens aux pauvres. He says, I'm going to give half of everything I have to the poor. Quels sont les pauvres? Who, are, who were the poor? Quels sont ces pauvres là? Who, what poor was he talking about? Je donne la moitié de mes biens aux orphelins. He says, I give half of what I have to the orphans. Je donne la moitié de mes biens aux veuves, les femmes qui n'ont pas de mari. He says, I'll give half of what I have to the, the elderly women who, who don't have anybody care for la them. la moitié de mes biens aux prisonniers. I'll give half of whatever I have to the prisoners. C'est ça l'objectif de l'église. You see, that's the objective that we need to have today as a church. L'église qui, qui, qui est, que Dieu approuve, c'est l'église qui prend soin des veuves et des orphelins. You see, the, the church that, that God approves of today are the church that, that look after the orphans and, and look after the elderly. L'église qui s'occupe des malades. They're the, the, the people who, who look at after the sick. Ceux qui n'ont pas encore eu de travail, l'église qui s'occupe, c'est l'église à que Dieu approuve. You see, the church reaches out to the needs of those around them. Jacques chapitre 1, le verset 27. In, in James chapter 1, verse... Ce matin... Ce matin, This morning, today, ils, ont, ils ont critiqué Zachée, il n'a pas parlé. You see, today they, they criticized Zacchaeus, but he didn't say a word. Ils ont critiqué Jésus, il n'a pas parlé. They criticized Jesus, but he didn't respond. Ils ont tiré à terre, à, à, ils ont giflé, ils ont déchiré sa peau, il n'a pas ouvert la bouche. And you remember when they crucified Jesus on the cross, and, and, and they were beating him and, and, and ripping his, his, the flesh off his body, he, he, he didn't say a word. Je vais donner une, une, une illustration I, I, I give you de ce que je viens de dire. Il y a un oiseau qu'on appelle aigle. There's a, there's a bird that we call an eagle. Quand il est perché sur l'arbre là-bas, <coughs> il vise à terre ici, il vise à terre ici, un animal important, une biche. You see, as he's perched up on, on, on the top of that tree, he, he, he's watching, he's looking around, and, and his eyes focus on, on uh, some prey. Et les autres oiseaux viennent le piquer sur la tête, du jouer sur son dos pour le provoquer derrière. Mais il ne regarde pas parce qu'il avait, il a un objectif. You see, he, he he's sitting there and he's watching this prey and these little birds will come and and, and they'll they'll peck at him and, and try to try to divert him and everything. But he he doesn't worry about it because his eyes are fixed on a goal. Le chrétien qui a un objectif ne parle pas. You see, Christians, that we have a goal and we have a plan that we don't need to worry about. What the, what the world is, is criticizing us of. Pour terminer, je veux dire que à tes résolutions répondra le succès. And you see, uh, in, in, uh, in finishing this morning, I say that we need to keep our eyes fixed on him if we want to obtain our goal. Et celui qui n'a pas d'objectif n'a pas de futur. You see, if we don't have a plan, if we don't have a goal, We don't have a future. Et celui qui a un objectif qui n'est pas déterminé, il va échouer. And you see, if you have an objective but you're not determined to reach that plan or that goal, you're going to miss out. Si je suis avec le missionnaire euh, et James, c'est parce que j'ai été déterminé. Ils m'ont fatigué, ils m'ont tout fait, mais je n'ai pas abandonné. You see, I, 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 I'm, I'm working with with uh, the missionary Jim because we are working together as a team to, to uh, carry the gospel throughout Ivory Coast. Et ce matin, je suis en train de prier et c'est avec vous parce que IEM dit ensemble atteignons le monde pour le Christ. And see, this morning I, I ask you to, to, to join us and join us in prayer because we are working together 
to reach the world for Christ. Alléluia. Alléluia. Gloire à Dieu. Glory to God. Together, reaching the world for Christ. Amen. Did you understand that? On, on s'agenou, on prie pour que Dieu pourvoie aux besoins. Pour que Guitry est entouré de 300 villages. You see, I, I ask that you be praying with me, <coughs> that God will enable us to, to uh, reach our area for Christ, surrounding our one little town, that, that uh, Guitry, the town of Guitry, we have over 300 villages to reach. 53,296 habitants. Almost 60,000 people. Et donc, pour les atteindre, il faut la prière. And you see, we have a, a, a plan and a goal in front of us, but we need your prayers. Quand je évangélise, je gagne beaucoup de je gagne beaucoup de mais il y a il y a pas de temple. Il faut que on bâtisse, on prie pour que le Seigneur bâtisse des temples pour nous, pour que ce que je gagne, je puisse les mettre dans les temples pour les enseigner. And so I, I ask that you be praying with us that God would provide the funds so that we can build a, 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 a church building so that we have a meeting place for for these people as we reach them. For Christ. Que le Seigneur nous bénisse ce matin. May God bless you this morning. Amen. That's the way it was on the day of Pentecost. Every man heard in his own language. <clears throat> he did a tremendous job preaching. And Jim, you did a good job interpreting. I thank God for the opportunity to meet this man and share in his burden. When the Lord Jesus Christ comes again, what will he find you doing? What will he find you doing? I praise God for the opportunities he's given. I'm the short guy. <laughs> Tell me if you'll come and lead us in a song. We're going to stand in a moment. We're going to sing together. Some of the guys are going to have some offering plates at the back. Would you help this? Brother, come with, get the money to build a building where they can have a place to worship. Search your heart. Ask God what he'd have you to do. Be obedient unto him. And God will bless you for that. Let's all stand. Let's pray together. Father, we're grateful this morning for the Word of God that has been shared with us. We're grateful that the Word of God's the same all over the world. We're grateful that God loves all. I'm so grateful for His love for me. And I'm sure everybody in here today could testify to the fact I'm not worthy to be loved by Him. But He loves us in spite of all that we've been and all we've done. And I pray this morning, Lord, as we sing, as we lift up Christ, if there's one here today, God, that the uh, Spirit of God spoke to them concerning maybe a need in their life or a way that God wants them to go. May this be the day they come. Surrender it all to Christ. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hey guys, Pastor Scotty Gerard here, and I just wanted to say thank you for joining us today. We really hope that this has been a resource that's helped you grow in your purpose for God, but also grow in His glory. We also want to extend an invitation to you to join us here in person at Harmony Grove. We are located at 1008 Town Creek School Road in Blairsville, Georgia. We would love for you to come be a part of our service, to be a part of our small groups. If you have children, we have children's classes on Wednesday night and on Sunday morning. And all this information can be found on our website.
We'd also like to continue help you in your growth with Christ. If you have a question, maybe a prayer request, or just need to talk to somebody, you can contact us in the emails below in the description, or you can also contact us through our app and through our website, which are also found in the description below. Again, we hope this has been a blessing to you because we know that you joining us today has been a great blessing to us. Thank you so much. God bless.